Working with the mouse in MicroStation. Kind of have to explain how the mouse works in MicroStation. That way you can utilize the tools correctly in MicroStation to get your operations done. To kind of explain this, I'm going to go ahead and go to this Word document and just kind of explain how the mouse works and then go over a couple of demonstrations in MicroStation to give you a little bit better handle of how it works. This is a, a typical Dell mouse that we have here. And of course we got the left mouse button, we got the middle, and we got the right side. The left mouse button allows you to select icons, menus, or graphic elements. And basically the left mouse button is your data button. It allows you to accept whenever you're creating a selection set or whenever you're using a tool in MicroStation. So if you're starting out placing a line and you want to go to one point to another, you would left click on the first point left click to the second point to get that operation to work and we'll kind of show that here later on your middle mouse button is called the tentative button and what this will allow you to do is to use your snaps to snap to a certain point push down that middle mouse button you can actually snap to an end point or an intersection or key point depending on what snap mode that you use and it's also used to reference a point on existing elements so if you want to know the coordinates of a certain point you can middle mouse button on it you know give you some certain parameters on that particular point that you select also with the middle mouse button it serves as a wheel to where you can zoom in and zoom out so that's another option that you can utilize the middle mouse button for and then the right mouse button is your reset button that allows you to end an operation so let's say you're copying an item and you want to end that operation and you're finished you would do a right click or maybe even a couple right mouse button clicks to reset that tool so it'll kind of end that tool it will also allow you to repeat the last command that you have activated so let's take for instance you're wanting to draw a line from point A to point B and you need to zoom in well you activate the place line tool and then you go to your view commands and you zoom into an area you have a different command opened up right now well once you zoomed into that certain area and you right click on your mouse it'll bring you back to that last command that you just did which is the place line tool so we'll kind of demonstrate that also whenever we kind of show you how the mouse works but that's a good demonstration of how those mouse buttons work inside microstation I'm going to go ahead and minimize this document and let's say I want to place a line out here of course I'm going to use my left mouse button to activate the tool so I'll left click on it now to place that particular line we left click once left click again as long as you keep left clicking your data pointing or accepting that point that you select now if we're finished with the tool we would right click on the mouse with the right mouse button and then we end that com particular command also with the mouse kind of like the way I, sh or, uh, I demonstrated in that word document let's say I need to zoom into a certain area let's say I go to maybe a certain point down below here I start a line let's say here maybe I want to snap to maybe an endpoint right in here well we can do that if I use my commands here I'll use my plus just to zoom in you see that we're in a different command now so I'll go ahead and left click to zoom in I'll right click to reset that particular tool and it brings me back to the last tool that I, that I was using so now I can snap to this point right here since I have my snaps at the key point and my toggle accuracy snap turned on which will demonstrate that in other sections so I can snap to that particular endpoint there left click to drop it off and now if I'm finished I'll right click to reset it and I'm finished using your middle mouse button you can zoom in and zoom out with that so if I use that wheel that's on there and pull it back toward myself you'll see that it will zoom out if I roll it forward depending on where I have my mouse at it will zoom into that point So that's how you can use your mouse to zoom in and zoom out also if you don't want to use your view commands down below here. So that's kind of some demonstrations on how the mouse works 
inside MicroStation.